Route 5 represents several inland communities along State Route 52 and Interstate 15 corridors. The current City Council member, Mark Kersey, is leaving office because of term limits. The two candidates looking to replace him, you see there on your screen, Attorney Joe Leventhal, a Republican, and Deputy City Attorney Marty Van Wilpert, a Democrat. Joining us now to give us an update on his campaign uh, for District 5 City Council is uh, candidate Joe Leventhal. Good to talk to you, Joe. First off, congratulations on the endorsement from the San Diego Jewish world. What does that mean Thanks. for your campaign? Thank you, Logan. Well, you know, it, it's great to have that endorsement. Uh, you know, unfortunately, uh, the Democratic Party in town has some real uh, troubling statements recently when it comes to things like anti-Semitism and, and the rest. So I was really honored to earn that endorsement. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm Joe Leventhal. I am Jewish myself. And so appreciate that support from San Diego Jewish World. Uh, you're a lawyer, you're a business owner, you're an alumni of UC San Diego. I took a look at the law firm uh, where you're a, a managing partner. I mean, you've got 650 lawyers plus. Uh, it's a nationwide law firm. Tell us a little bit about uh, the practice and your business experience. Yeah, well, Logan, you were smart enough to leave the practice of law, but I'm still <laughs> doing it. So, you know, I'm a commercial litigator and uh, I do run the San Diego office. I don't run the whole firm, but I run the San Diego office, which actually started as my own business eight years ago. And, and I grew that uh, exponentially in three years and emerged into my current law firm. So I'm on the board of directors nationally. I'm also on the finance committee. And so I really have that business business experience from being a really small business uh, when I was really worried about you know putting food on the table for my wife and three kids to now a, a larger business where, you know, with 650 attorneys across the country, we face some other challenges, particularly, obviously, like a lot of businesses right now with COVID. Uh, but from a legal standpoint, I've really enjoyed being a litigator for my entire career. Well, and let's talk about some of the pressing issues, whether it's COVID uh, response or small businesses, police reform. What do you see are, uh, as some of the big issues that you'd like to tackle? Well, you know, you, your viewers heard from your previous guest, uh, you know, restaurant owners and other small businesses are really hurting with COVID right now. You know, San Diego is a small business economy. 98% of our businesses here are small businesses. And that's one of my biggest priorities. How do we find ways for businesses and people to go back to work as safely as possible? We've got to look at that. We've got to look at those opportunities. The city's been pretty responsive so far, looking at things like outside dining. But obviously, we, we started to get some rain yesterday things like that aren't gonna last forever. And, and it's not sustainable for a lot of restaurants and other small businesses. So that's a high priority of mine, really trying to make sure people get back to work, people can secure the roof over their head and food on their table. Uh, but there are a lot of other priorities. We've gotta make sure we defend our public safety officers, our police officers, our firefighters. We need to make sure that, you know, America, uh, sorry, San Diego stays one of America's safest big cities. We've gotta invest in our roads. We've gotta make sure that people have smooth, good roads to drive on and not waste tax dollars on pie in the sky transit projects. I read that you served as an attorney in the White House as deputy assistant to the vice president. What vice president and what was that experience like? Well, you know, it was great. I actually uh, worked for uh, Vice President Cheney. Uh, I was part of a senior staff in 2003, 2004. Uh, before that, I actually served in the Clinton administration. So I, I certainly have gotten uh, bipartisan, bipartisan experience there. Uh, but it was it was a tremendous experience being part of that senior staff. And uh, obviously, 2003, 2004, just after 9-11, with everything going on in the world, it was quite an interesting time uh, and serving through a re-election campaign as well. Uh, it was... Uh, Amazing, uh, amazing things that I got to see, amazing amount of responsibility for someone just in their mid-20s. Uh, but it was a great experience and, uh, you know, different lifetime ago. Any hobbies or anything fun that we need to know about uh, you, Joe? Well, I'm a runner, so I love running and District 5 is a great place to go running. There's uh, some great trails in District 5, running around Lake Miramar is one of my favorites. Uh, so there's a lot of great opportunities to run. And uh, that's what I've been doing for probably almost 30 years of my life now. So that's one of my biggest hobbies. My kids, if I have extra time, I spend time with them for sure. Well, that's terrific. Joe Leventhal running for the 5th District. Good to talk to you, Joe. Thanks so much. Thanks, Thank you.